Welcome to today's analysis of the Copa America match between Chile and Argentina. This encounter was highly anticipated, as both teams have a rich history and a competitive rivalry. Argentina, led by Lionel Messi, managed to secure a 1-0 victory over Chile, with Lautaro Martinez scoring the decisive goal in the 88th minute. This win has significant implications for both teams in the tournament. Let's delve into the details. Argentina's performance was dominant from the start. They controlled possession, created numerous chances, and kept the Chilean defense under constant pressure. According to match statistics, Argentina had 61% possession and took 22 shots compared to Chile's three. This offensive dominance was reflected in their expected goals, XG, statistic, which was 2.72 for Argentina and only 0.12 for Chile. Lautaro Martinez has been in excellent form recently, and his late goal was a testament to his striking capabilities. This was his fifth goal in five matches for Argentina, highlighting his importance to the team. Martinez's goal came after a period of sustained pressure from Argentina, where they kept pushing forward despite Chile's resilient defense. Lionel Messi had an eventful match as well. Early in the game, he suffered an injury scare, but managed to continue playing after receiving treatment. Messi's ability to influence the game remained undiminished, and he came close to scoring with a long-range strike before halftime. His perseverance and leadership were crucial for Argentina's victory. Chile, on the other hand, struggled to make an impact defensively. They failed to create significant chances and were unable to break down the Argentine defense. Claudio Bravo, Chile's veteran goalkeeper, had an outstanding game, making eight saves to keep his team in the match. Bravo's efforts were commendable, but without offensive support, Chile couldn't find the back of the net. The victory for Argentina means they have secured their place in the quarterfinals of the Copa America. With two wins from two games, they lead Group A with six points. Canada follows with three points, while Chile and Peru each have one point. Argentina's next match is against Peru, and they will aim to continue their winning streak. Christian Romero, Argentina's defender, commented after the game about the team's hunger for success. He emphasized the toughness of the match and expressed satisfaction with the team's performance and determination to achieve more in the tournament. Romero's words reflect the team's mindset as they progress further in Copa America. Alexis Mack Allister also shared his thoughts on the match, highlighting the challenging nature of the game. He praised his team's effort and mentioned that their focus now shifts to the upcoming match against Peru. Mack Allister's comments underscore the team's commitment to taking one game at a time and preparing thoroughly for each opponent. Emiliano Martinez, Argentina's goalkeeper, lauded the team strikers, Lautaro Martinez and Julian Alvarez, calling them among the best in the world. His praise for Bravo's performance also highlighted the respect between players. Emmy Martinez's remarks show the importance of teamwork and mutual respect in achieving success. The match statistics paint a clear picture of Argentina's dominance. They created 18 chances compared to Chile's one, took 22 shots with nine on target, and won 11 corners while Chile had none. These numbers reflect Argentina's aggressive approach and Chile's defensive struggle throughout the game. Chile's defensive strategy was evident, but their lack of offensive threat was a significant disadvantage. The absence of goals from their forwards, despite Bravo's heroics, ultimately cost them the match. This is an area Chile needs to address moving forward in the tournament. In conclusion, Argentina's victory over Chile was a result of their relentless offensive pressure, solid defensive performance, and the contributions of key players like Lautaro Martinez and Lionel Messi. This win not only secured their place in the quarterfinals, but also demonstrated their strength as a team. Now, let's address some common questions about the match. How did Argentina manage to dominate possession against Chile? Argentina's midfield controlled the game effectively, with players like DePaul and Mac Allister distributing the ball well and maintaining pressure. What was the key moment of the match? Laudaro Martinez's goal in the 88th minute was the defining moment, securing the win for Argentina. How serious was Lionel Messi's injury scare? Messi's injury appeared to be minor as he returned to the game quickly and continued to play at a high level. 
How did Claudio Bravo perform in the match? Bravo had an outstanding game, making eight crucial saves and keeping Chile in the match despite Argentina's dominance. What are Argentina's chances in the next round? With their current form and key players performing well, Argentina is a strong contender in the tournament. How did Chile's offense fare against Argentina? Chile struggled offensively, creating very few chances and failing to score, which was a significant factor in their loss. What were the tactical differences between the two teams? Argentina played an attacking game with high possession, while Chile focused on defense and counterattacks. Who were the standout players in the match? Lautaro Martinez, Lionel Messi, and Claudio Bravo were the standout players, each contributing significantly to their teams. What can Chile do to improve in their next match? Chile needs to enhance their offensive strategies and create more scoring opportunities to support their defense. How important was this win for Argentina? This win was crucial as it secured their place in the quarterfinals and boosted their confidence moving forward. In summary, Argentina's victory over Chile was a combination of tactical superiority, key player performances, and relentless pressure. This win positions them well for the rest of the tournament. Stay tuned for more updates and analysis on Copa America 2024. Don't forget to subscribe for more in-depth coverage of the matches.